Today is May 2nd? Yes. Uh, 2017, and we're here with Beverly, who comes to us from Tennessee. And she's here with a lot of problems, including lifelong fatigue, pain, and really bad arthritic hips, where the doctors have told you to get joint replacements, correct? Yes. And I looked at your x-rays, and yes, I'll admit, your, your hips, by their criteria, by any criteria, deserve replacement. You also have weight issues, and we're waiting to hear about your teeth. And uh, what I wanted to do first was uh, see you get out of the chair, walk to the door, and come back. And sit down, please. Would you be able to get out of that chair up and down without your hands? And down without your hands? Okay. I'm still using my hands, but... Now, you look like walking to the door was very difficult. Was that coming from your hips or your knees or both? Of my hips. Okay. Thank you very much. I have your permission to video this? Yes. Do I have your permission to post it as well? Sure. Thank you. Room, I'll come out and then you can do it, okay? Oh, you're just gonna do it. Just, okay. <laughs> yeah, walk to that table. Okay, spin around again one more time. That was incredible. Look at that. Now, would you have lost your balance before if you lift the knee up? Yeah, I wouldn't have been, like, every day I um, do, woo, 90 seconds standing on one leg and 90 seconds standing on the other. But for, like, the last two or three weeks, I haven't been able to do it on now, one Now, is leg. there a natural deterioration or what caused the... I have you, you just told me you're surprised because you've had six PRPs, PRPs and you've I had, had stem cells. Three times. Oh, and stem cells. And you also had steroids. I had steroids, and I had an experimental treatment that they developed for racehorses in Dubai to reduce um, inflammation that there's a lot of German research on that I only found out because my cousin is a medical researcher, so he and let so, me know. so then how did the results of today compare with what they did? Oh, today was much more dramatic, yeah. Easier yeah. overall, too. Yeah even less expensive. Although, um, I guess the PRP was a little less expensive. But yeah, it was much less expensive than the Robert, stem cells. Predict over course how this I probably shouldn't tell you that. <laughs> well, actually, PRP generally is more expensive. <laughs> the PRP I had was, I think, $600 a shot. Mine was less but, expensive. Oh, okay. Much, much, much less expensive. Oh, okay. All right. You, see, you, got, you had to pay for my initial office visit. I see. Oh, but okay. The, but the injections were a fraction of the PRP. Oh, okay. Well, there you go then. Because the um, the experimental treatment was $28,000. Oh, my God. The stem cells, yeah, it was 28000 The stem cells were like 10000 I went three times. Any results on the stem cells? Three thousand? Is that three thousand a piece? Yeah, three thousand for each. Well, I had injections in the hips and the back, and each time it was three thousand. Well, I want the viewer to know what your injections cost today. The first hip was one hundred seventy dollars. Okay. The second hip was one hundred twenty dollars. Okay. And because you were paying for my initial visit, uh -huh. that price was cut in half. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So. On the next visit, mm -hmm. it would be 170 plus 120. Now you compare $290 mm -hmm. to the many, many, many mm -hmm. thousands of dollars you spent, and mm -hmm. look what just happened to you. Yeah. yeah. Can I see you do that? Turn okay. around one more time. Yeah. All right, but I'm telling you, it would be a better picture if you did. Give her a few seconds. <laughs> oh my God. That 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 is. Oh, wow. I can't even do that. Thank you so very much. That's all I can say. No 
today's May 4th, 2017. We're back with Bev, and um, it's a couple days after her hip injection. We're going to watch her get out of the chair and walk to the door. And come to me, please. Okay, go back to the door. Can you spin around there like you did? Oh, like this? Yeah. Oh my God. Can you lift up your legs like you did before? Let's see. Oh my gosh, look it's at that. Let me see, this is the one that it's hard to do, so let's see. Oh my God, okay. That's wonderful. But what I don't understand is this morning I couldn't do it. You know? Well, you're getting warmed up. Okay. So you did mention to me you were a little stiff this morning, but after you got the IV ozone, then you loosened up considerably. Is yes. that correct? Yes, the, very uh, much the, so. The discomfort here yes. subsided. And actually, uh, so, so that says that there is inflammation in your body. Mm -hmm. uh, systemic ozone just helps to reduce inflammation. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, that, that's a really good sign. Yeah. But we, we're going to continue working on your hips today. So I, I'm blown away that you could do a turnaround mm -hmm. like you did because you had trouble just walking to the door last time. Yes, that's true. And I had trouble walking this morning. So it's amazing to me the difference. Just yeah. the intravenous ozone. Yeah. We didn't even touch your hips. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Now, I've got you on the table. Not a particularly compromising position, <laughs> but you actually are bending your hips much better than you did before, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so. When, when you first came in, I think like you were more like that. Mm -hmm. And now, I can yeah. Take it all the way. That, yeah. is, that is not full flexion, but that's pretty good. Really? What would full yeah. flexion be? Full flexion would be where you can actually bring your knee up to your chest. But that's also with a little bit of lumbar flexion, too. Huh. You did really good because when you walked in the door here, mm -hmm you were more like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really pleased with this. You got very significant increased range of mm -hmm. motion. So we just did your second treatment, was it bad? It was much better than the first treatment and even the first treatment wasn't horrible. It was challenging but not yeah. horrible. And you're sensitive to needles, so uh, I didn't notice yeah. that. All right, let's see you get up and walk to the door. So the big challenge is going to be getting off this thing, so let's see. Okay. Jeez. Hold on. Okay, that feels a little bit, it's a little harder for me to get it up. I expect it's to, a little I put sore. I put 20 cc's of gas in there, but, <laughs> okay. but, but look at you turn around. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh I'm 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 so pleased yes there's 20 cc's of gas in there oh, so, so yes it would feel it, 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 it could restrict your motion a little bit mm -hmm. until all that's absorbed okay well I'll tell you one thing that's a big thing that I didn't even try the last time I can get my leg back and that's really hard to do for me usually okay. you know to to do that? Yeah, that's called that's called extension of the hip. Okay. So that's really good that we could do that. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm really really pleased. I'm really pleased too. I don't think there's many, even of my colleagues, who would have seen results like this really? so so quick. Yeah, especially in the hip. Wow. Knees, yes. Hips, not so much. So. I'm delighted. Thank you for allowing yeah. me to continue to oh, yeah. you were, chronicle this. Yeah, absolutely.